that was an amazing few days in Rio. Now, back to Sao Paulo. So my flight leaves in about uh, seven hours. Left everything at the airport and I came for one last meal of all you can eat Brazilian barbecue at Fogo de Chao. And Fogo de Chao is actually the most popular all you can eat Brazilian barbecue restaurant in Brazil. For locals, by far, they're even in the Michelin Guide. Of course, I'm curious to see if there's any big difference or if this is better, but mainly I just want to have another meal of all you can eat Brazilian barbecue before I leave. And salad bar already looks so much better than anything I've seen in the US. So much fresh fruits and vegetables like papaya, pineapples, tons of salads. Bacon covered in chilies. That's the greatest thing. Greatest thing. Spicy, sweet. That's just so smoky and flavorful. I think I had this in the Fogo de Chao in the US. Fajor Wada, one of my favorite Brazilian dishes. And also, crunchy pieces of pork belly. Oh my God. Tastes good, but that skin's just a Tiny bit too bulletproof for me. Let's get started. And I got my first piece of meat, a cut of beef rib. That is very much melt in your mouth. Look at that chimichurri. That looks beautiful. A perfectly charred, fatty piece of filet. Look at all that glistening fat, oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's so perfectly seared. I love a lot of char on my fatty meat. It's just the most perfect amount of bitter, crispy char to the succulent, juicy meat. Mm. And they came by and sliced me a few cuts of pecan yam. Thin little layer of fat on the outside. Mm, the beef flavor is so strong in the pakanga. Yeah. Also, I got a piece of sirloin here. Look at this. Outside is beautifully charred. You can see a layer of fat, tons of juice. Oh my God. This is the best piece of sirloin I've ever had. It's better than the pakanga. Yeah. It is. Not saying the pakanga is not delicious, it absolutely is. Their sirloin, it's just the best in the world of sirloin. You can see the fat, you can see the marbling. It's pure juice. This is a piece of prime rib. Now you know this thing's gonna be fatty. You can see the marbling rivering through the meat. As I'm just cutting up this piece of prime rib, another skewer of prime rib arrived. I just went ahead and took another one. I know this is gonna be good. Holy mother, of all that is beef, that prime rib is unbelievable. Mm, best cut so far. So much fat, so much juice. This char is just the most perfect char you've ever had from a Brazilian barbecue. Mm, to say this is better than the US Fogo de Chao would 100% be insulting it. Fogo de Chao in the US never tasted this good. It's like Superman fighting, like, well, me. No contest. Oh my gosh, this place is just like nothing I've ever had before. I can't believe I've been to a restaurant that is this one, but not. It's like they exist in completely different dimensions. Mm. Toasted cheese. Of course, you gotta get the spicy honey. The outside is so toasty. It's nutty, it soaks up whatever flavor you add to it. Amazing. This picanha, crispy fat on the outside, and look at that juice. I can't believe how good this is and how much better it is compared to what I have in the US. Besides the juicy meat and the crispy fat, there's such a wonderful smoky flavor to it that is just really obvious. Every single piece here, perfection. Can you believe how juicy the steak is? And they definitely cook it more rare 
than they do in the US. I've never seen meat shrimp with this much juice at a Brazilian barbecue before. Mm. Also just got a piece of lamb. Again, what a trippy, fatty mess. What? Oh my God, this is just unreal. I swear, when he was cutting me this piece of lamb, and from my past lamb experiences at Fogo de Chao in the US, this was gonna be dry, at least a bit tough. Perfect, 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. If you don't love lamb after biting into this, you will be converted. The most tender and juicy thing that tastes like a meaty floodgate. One bite and a floodgate opens your mouth, just fills with juice. Don't need to add anything to this meat. Every piece is perfection. Mm. So for lunchtime, I think it's the same five or six different cuts of meat floating around. I did see that they brought the table next to me some lamb ribs, so I asked for some of that as well. This is something I didn't see floating around that I had to especially ask for, so I don't know whether there are other meats that you could just request, but this looks like a delicious rack of lamb. Oh my God. It's a breathtaking, breathtaking bite of meat. The flavor is perfect. The smoke is almost like an additional ingredient flavoring the meat. Oh my gosh. I think the meat here at Fogo de Chao, flavor-wise, is better than Boba Coa. That smoke, it makes such a huge difference. I don't know how they're cooking the meat back there. I mean, it is intensely smoky. I'm gonna miss this so much, so much. I, yeah, I just confirmed. They use charcoal to barbecue everything. Get out of town. It's so good. That smokiness, wow. And so far I've been to Barbacoa and Fogo de Chao. Both of these are Michelin restaurants. Both of them are amazing. The service is so attentive. As soon as you sit down, I've been to Fogo de Chao in the US where I would sit there for the first 30 to 40 minutes and no meat would come around. And even after that, it was just maybe two cuts floating around. But here, as soon as you sit down, as soon as you flip this to green, it is on. I mean, meat just floods your table very quickly. They notice right away, if you drop a napkin or your plate needs changing, they notice it right away. The buffet is beautiful. So many different colors, so many different food items, whatever you want, veggies, sauces, chilies, fruits, and they cut you a lot. That's another difference in the US is usually you get like, like one and then you have to kind of like beg them for another slice of meat. Here they cut you a lot of meat because there's so many more of them just floating around. Of course, I, I can't compare the two restaurants fairly because I'm eating the lunch version of Fogo de Chao and I had the dinner version of Babacoa, but I'm not a different version of economy at Barbacoa. I've never seen that before. It's so great. I also do like Barbacoa's chimichurri better. Fogo de Chao, every single cut of meat is 10 out of 10. But their side dishes, lacking a little bit. Not that you should really care about the side dishes. Bottom line, such an amazing experience. Both places. Highly recommend if you are ever in Brazil, get yourself some all you can eat barbecue. Oh, that was so good. There's actually one last thing I want to try. I just saw that they had it in, uh, in Brazil. So let, let's go get it before I get on the plane. Luckily, it's right there in the mall. This week, Burger King in Brazil launched the Barbie meal. Inside, there is Kim fries, which is just their regular fries with a Barbie holder and a pink burger and a Barbie shake with a pink donut on top. So this is the pink burger. It looks like pink mayonnaise, some cheese over a burger patty. This thing definitely doesn't look like it was made in Barbie land. <laughs> Maybe a can made this, I don't know. Yeah, it's pink mayonnaise on top and some cheese. Burger patty is very thick. I think they modified this from the Big Tasty. Burger, a little dry but flavor, not too shabby. Like I said, a good size beef patty, get a good amount of beefy flavor. You taste that signature Burger King smoke. Chase it with a Barbie shake. This is basically vanilla ice cream. I think some strawberry quick syrup. Ain't nothing wrong with this. And chase it with a donut. <laughs> Even though the donut came from a plastic bag, it's not a bad donut. Pretty airy and bouncy. Frosting's nice. It's a fun little combo. Now to the heavy hitters. 
couple of sandwiches I don't think I've ever tried before. One of them is here in Brazil. Burger King makes a chorizo Whopper. Of course, pork sandwiches, ham sandwiches are very popular in this country. So this is a pork sausage Whopper. This is pretty darn good. The patty is nice and charred. Again, got that flame boreal taste to it. It's a very flavorful patty. You definitely taste the spices and the smokiness of the sausage. This is way more flavorful than the typical beef patty. I like it. Also, these can fries. These are really the best Burger King fries I had in a while. Also, I got a cheddar Whopper because Brazil fast food, they do utilize local ingredients and Brazilian beef is delicious. Mm. Very, very tender and juicy patties. Gooey and cheesy with slices of bacon and a soft sesame bun. Mm. It's got a really nice flame broil flavor. Patties taste like really good quality beef. Wash it down with some Barbie shake. Actually, good way to eat the Kim fries. Take the Kim fries, dunk it into the Barbie shake. That is the best way to eat those fries. Sweet and savory. Dunk my donut in there too. That tastes like a combo made in Barbie land. Mm. I always want to try a fast food place in every single country I go to. The McDonald's menu really wasn't much of a difference. I think the only big difference was that for breakfast, McDonald's here serves a cheesy bread and maybe I think a guava McFlurry. And Burger King just had a really fun meal. And that wraps up my trip here in Brazil. Didn't have a lot of time this time. Only been here for about a week, spent most of my time in Rio. Next time I'm back here, I already marked out some of the places I want to go to. This time I wanted to just kind of stay in the bigger cities, but next time I'm getting a car and just driving to some remote towns because it looks like there's a ton of amazing food to be had there. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.